Hey, Mario Carters and Frenzy fans, are we live? Does this work? We never know. You'd think we'd be professionals by now. Our, our little setup here is very Jimmy rigged. We have the camera. It looks like the microphone or the speakers are on. Are we going to start hearing? No, I think we're fine because I think this is going to mute. Yeah, it's going to stay muted. Yeah, yeah. I think we've been... Oh, no, it's laggy. Hold on, guys, while we figure this out. What do we do about that? All right. Figuring... I'm typing in the chat. Figuring out some tech stuff. Let us know if we are laggy. We should probably hit send on that. All righty. Hey, there's your head. There's my big head. Hey, Jeeves, what's up? Um, we're figuring it out. We're once again in a hotel, so this is always fun. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it handled. Should we turn my Wi-Fi? Well, then I'm not. I disconnected completely. I don't know. All right. If this one, um, no lag. There's no lag whatsoever. Maybe it's just us. Us. Because we're seeing like maybe the lag. two, like a, a one and a half seconds of like video and then it like pauses. Yeah. yeah. But we're watching the YouTube stream. Well, maybe a little lag. <laughs> All right. I wonder if trying to get, trying to see, well, is it better now? I think so. Yeah. Oh. Hey, what just happened? Oh. We're watching ads. What? I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know, guys. We're professionals. Okay, we're going to pretend like we're good. You can just correct us if we're not good. We're going to roll with this. Um. So welcome to our channel. <laughs> so I wonder if you on your Chromebook can view YouTube instead of on... The computer that we're doing OBS through? Do you want me to get your... That Chromebook's my other... Two million points. Well... ACR. Yes. That's the goal. I don't even know if this is charged. I haven't turned it on in a while. Yeah, I don't think this is charged. That's okay. We're good. We're good. No. Let's figure it out. Okay, Eric. Thank you for letting us know. We are going to figure this out. What's up, Scott? Where's okay. Your charger? Bear with us. Um in here. Seems like a place I would put it. All right. I'm going to put it in the chat in case we are laggy. Um, plug that in. Okay. Figuring out Wi-Fi stuff. I don't know if you guys can see us or not. Hopefully we don't lose a lot of you. Story of our life. Okay, so let's see, take a second to turn off the whole thing. So maybe what we're gonna do is this. Can you do it through your phone for the time? Yeah. Sure can. Start All right, just... seconds. And then close this down because it's just too much stress on the one hot spot. Yeah. All right, let's see if that's better. I can't see anyone right now for the time being. But okay, well, you tell people, hopefully, hopefully it's going okay. Okay, tell everybody what's up. Okay, so let's see. Change the camera a little bit. Everyone can hear us okay? Just want to make sure everyone can hear us. We can't see your responses, but... We'll get there. Okay. We only have three people watching, so I'm assuming is junky as crap. Okay, let's see if this gets better. It may or may not. Are we better now? I think we're so laggy. We can do it. All right, I don't know, guys.
We just let it out. Wait, are we better now? Is everything okay if we start talking and kind of moving around? Tell me if it looks better now. Just need some feedback. Whoops. I can't type to save my life right now. All right. So. Just pretend like we're good now. Because mm. we're good now. Okay. We're just going to pretend like it is. And then if it gets laggy or if it's choppy or something. Yeah. Then like let us know. And then we'll kind of take a little breather and see if we can't figure out a better solution. But. Okay, everybody's saying it's good now. Oh, phew. Okay, I'm on my phone seeing you guys. Oh, yeah, sorry. On my phone seeing you guys right now. But I am going to pull up my other laptop so I can actually engage with you a little bit better. Do you want me to move this back a little bit? Sure. Sure. Professions, guys. I don't even know if I'm signed in to Mario, or Mario Kart Tour channel on this computer. That a little bit. Guys, this is life on the road for you. Um, it's like completely raw, unfiltered. We're gonna. <laughs> I promise you, we're gonna talk cool stuff. But things. Want to be stuff. nice when we have like an actual legitimate setup. Remember how? Remember back in the day, they, you know, we could just like head up to the office and just like push two buttons and everything flowed perfectly. When we didn't live in a hotel or in a cabin with no Wi-Fi, those good old days. My goodness gracious. Sorry, guys. Okay, we're good now. Okay. Hey, guys. What? Okay, ready? Let's just, let's all pretend like we just hit play. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, we're all going to pretend like we just hit play. Hey, Mario Carters and friends of fans. Welcome to the channel. We've got a little bit of a grind session tonight. Maybe a groove. Um, I think... Honestly, I'm just kind of missing a little bit of interaction with our peeps. Totally. <laughs> totally. And I need some help on making some decisions because we're like, what, 11 days into the yeah. Bowser tour? I was kind of hoping, like, we, we started off to a good start where I was like, it's day one yeah. and we're going to be, like, reacting to the tour. It's day two. We're going to pull some pipes. It's day three. We're going to, like, do some inventory thingies. And then it was like radio silence. We did pretty good. We did pretty good. We started off strong. <laughs> and then we went from Washington to McCall, Idaho, to Boise, Idaho. Now we're in Salt Lake City, Utah, somewhere around here. We're doing great. Great at life. And then we leave tomorrow to St. George. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Jeev said, yeah, remember when you had a house? <laughs> remember when we weren't homeless? <laughs> Good news is our house is ahead of schedule, so it should be completed like October 3rd. Crossing fingers. I think they painted this week. Yeah. Like the drywall went up and it's painted, hopefully. Yeah. I think we get to see it tomorrow or the next day. I'm right. excited. <laughs> what track are you working on, says Eric. All right. So, yeah. Oh, we need to do a poll. Oh, first, we had a poll going on before. Yeah. Um... Will 2 million be enough for top 10? 50-50. 50% say yes, 50% say no. Okay, so let's just go ahead and head over to... Let's take a look at the All Cup ranking. So this is through yesterday at 9 a.m., whatever time zone we were in. I don't know what that 9 a.m. is. Oh, and it looks like the top six have already achieved 2 million. That's insane. And then uh, to 10, it's only 39,000 behind that. <laughs> we still have three days to go. And where are you at right now? So here's the thing is like, there's, it's like nice and evenly distributed. You know, yeah. it's only like maybe 10,000, 8,000 gaps. So here there's like a 42,000 from 10 to 11. Yeah. And then 8,000, 5,000. And then you get down to Gamer Amy. And then me at 16, and it's like 50,000. There's <laughs> like a 50,000 point drop. <laughs> you, okay, so your strategy, or I guess not your strategy, but your technique, rather, for doing ACR is like you kind of just like play everything like once or twice, and then you work your way through the races, right? So how many races would you say are like dialed in? I'm only going to go back if I'm like a couple thousand. I got it. 
my computers are falling, guys. It was all good. I'm only a couple thousand behind, like, where I think I need to be. So I'm going to go back and visit those tricks. So how many do you think you have completed? So at this point, when this snapshot occurred yeah. on my phone, I think I had, like, six courses that I hadn't really done very much except for playing it through to, uh, like, get the all clear pipe. Okay. Um, but I actually had some okay runs on them. I hadn't, like, upgraded anything at that point. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens tonight okay. at Reset. So your goal isn't necessarily... He's... I don't want to say timid. I don't think you've ever once said, like... I am going for top 10, come hell or high water. That is my goal. I think you want to do the best that you can. I think I wanted to see if top 10 was possible. Correct. And by doing some various upgrades uh, and using some tools yep. that are available, it kind of seemed like maybe it was within reach. Okay. But that was based off of the pure assumption of... Uh, not a whole lot of people are going for ACR one or 10. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not very, you know, like super competitive. But since it's like the Bowser Tour, I think some people are kind of like coming out of the woodwork. Yeah. Um, for sure. I mean, it's Bowser. You yeah. And so, yeah, I think that there are... So like right now, I think... I want to say that there are probably... I don't know if anyone's gotten in touch with God Mode. Does anyone know... God mode. Or if God mode's watching. I don't think he's watching, but... <laughs> um, I don't know if God mode's going for top 10. Uh, I'm pretty sure Gamer Amy is. Uh, Soma and this EE guy and the TV barbecue guy. I don't know. I think they like to play like a lot at the beginning and kind of like see how high that they can get. But then I don't think that they kind of like Do they... continue that sustained like okay. point increase over a while. Um, so... So right now, your first goal, top 10 would be really, really great. Yeah. Your main goal is you've never broken 2 million points. So I've never broken 1.7, 1.8, or 1.9. <laughs> but I've, no, got, I've gotten there. <laughs> <laughs> because since since this day where I got the uh, 1.86, yeah. I've, I've played races, and, okay. and now I'm in the 1.9. So you've said Godzi is not going for it. Okay. All right. So, and I don't know that anybody below, because see, look at, after like myself in God mode. It drops off. It kind of drops off. There's me and then like some other people that's 40,000 away and then it kind of drops off. I don't know, like once they're in like the low 1800s, high or like 1 1.8 or 1.7s. Yeah. That they're really in the ballpark for hitting 10. Yeah. Or like top 10. Or two million. All right. Plum asks us if we're going to be talking about spot the spotlight shop. The answer is yes. Okay. So this video right here is not like a, it's not a reaction to any of that. So Frenzy Fanboy is going for ACR top ten right now. So he's going to do a lot of grinding, and we're going to just chat about all the things while he grinds. So all of our thoughts on the new announcements and everything like that. But it's not like an official like okay that is the purpose of this video yeah. type thing. So so I think to kind of kick off the discussion. Yes. And we got 17 people watching, so we yeah. can get some input from 17 people. And I want to start a poll so that as people start coming in, because um, I need to make a decision on what to upgrade yeah. on uh, a specific course before starting it. Yeah. So while the poll is going, I'm going to work on another course. Then once we have like a definitive answer, then we'll go, I'll do the upgrade and then start grinding on that course and see how many points I can get. Absolutely. And TJ said, um, no, you've been saving tickets. How many willing to spend to get top 10? So how many? Okay, so Frenzy Fanboy went into this week with like over 50 or 60 of each. Yes. Yeah, so Grab be here real quick. Let's go over here. This is a good question. It's been a fun ride. Okay. Um, this is what it looked like when you first started, right? So I believe this was yeah, at the very beginning of the tour. I had over, I think it was like 350 high-end tickets. Yeah. That's all of them combined. The level, the uncap. Yeah. And currently, if we come over to the app. Let's take a look. Oh, snap. A couple of zeros. So, TJ, to answer your question, <laughs> he spent a crap ton of tickets to give it a run. 
And you are, okay, we do have a debate coming up to what to do with this last eight tickets, which we'll get to. Mm -hmm. um, but he is planning on spending those as well. Yep. So, oops, coming back to... High Mileage Low Rent says, hey, what's up? Frenzy hey. Grind, how you doing? Frenzy Grind in the house. He said, what's up, guys? Top 10, you got this. And then he says, you're going to need more than 2K, sadly. Did I say 2,000? I totally meant 2 million if I did. But he, either way, he's going to need more than 2 million to, to win it for sure. Yeah. All right. So here's kind of the summary of my races. Did I say that Jeeves said he thinks Jedi and Swarls are giving it a run? Or did I just think that really loud? You did not say that. So let's check that out over here. Jedi and Swarls, because they're like... Swarls is 25. No, Kanye isn't going for it. Who's the other one besides Swirls? Jedi. Is that is that number 43 here? MKD Jedi? Probably. Yeah, so that's uh that's a lot of ground to make up. That's uh like three hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So David Nelson said, any chance you're banking on your week two driver cap tickets to spend them in the last hour of the tour to get a last second upgrade? I thought of that. Um and I currently only have six and i'm going to be using all six yeah <laughs> and so then i'll get six more which isn't enough to triple uncap something yeah everything that i'm using currently is it's already double capped yeah all right sorry back to what you were originally going at okay guys he's been playing so hard i'm really proud of you I think he's played more than I've worked this week, which is to say something. The game's hard, man. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> At least for me. It, com it, it, it comes hard for me. So uh, the way that this sheet is currently filled out is there are two courses. So what is it? This Bowser Castle 3T that's in ranked. Okay. That I haven't played yet. Okay. As well as the RMX Choco Island 1. But what I've done is over here, I've taken the average of the gain. So this column Z here, I've taken the average of the potential gain that I pretty much have for every course, which is about 5,000 points. Yeah. And I subtract that gain from what the estimate is. And then. Masa said so many triple frenzies. Right? I've been playing hard. Like I've been trying really hard to do. To do good. <laughs> You're doing so good. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's a lot of coin boxes there. There's a lot of coins. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of boom boxes, though. <laughs> which is Just... where you get your action count up, which is... And you leveled up Petey. Both yeah. Ones, right? No. So just Petey's Just Petey. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, um... Yeah. So... There are three courses that I got really good action counts, but got second place in. Okay. <laughs> and so that puts me behind like an extra three or four thousand, which is just a bummer because so today I was grinding so hard on, what is it? Piranha Plant Slide R. Yeah. And the reason that it's hard is because in the middle shelf, there are no coin boxers except for the... Um, me suits that are getting boosted. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a me suit, like a coin box me suit, as um, an opponent yeah. when you're playing. So they're all bottom shelf coin boxers. I got two. I got tuxedo and uh, gold chuck. Yeah. In one of my lobbies. Which is amazing. So I was like, yes, this is going to be it. This is great. This is great. I got two boom boxes. Yeah. I got uh, like a boom boomerang frenzy and I think a mushroom frenzy. 198 actions and came in fourth. I feel like every single day I'll come back to the hotel room because I, we, for my birthday, my birthday was Friday. So for my birthday, I was like, I just want to go furniture shopping for our new house because we sold everything that we own. We have like a guest bed left and that's it. And so I was off furniture shopping and I told him to stay home and just or stay at the hotel and just grind. And every time I came back, he'll be like, you cannot believe this run I got. I got a frenzy or I got a coin frenzy, a coin box frenzy and a coin frenzy. And I took fourth. Like, every single time I felt like it. Came in second. Came in. It's so rough. Yeah. 
Frenzy Grind says, either way, awesome job this tour. Very impressive and monster scores. Be proud either way. Paul says, you got to be so proud to be mixing it up with the top 10 in the world. Backing you all the way here. Thanks, guys. So the thing is, is I haven't thrown in the towel. Oh, not at all. I think that if some things fall into place, yeah, then it could very well be a possibility. So the thing that we need to make a poll of, okay. and I mean, I'm interested to see this. So this current poll, it's saying 52% that 2 million won't be enough. We have 31 votes too. So 48% mm. say yes, 42% no. Okay, I'm going to end that poll and I'm going to start a new poll based off of what Frenzy Fanboys about to show off in his account. And this, guys, if you guys are watching right now, if you guys aren't typing or active in the chat, one, give us a thumbs up so more people can see this. Two, tell us hi in the chat. But three, this poll is actually critically important. So we need everybody's opinion to know what to do, especially like Auto Drift. If you're still watching, he's, yeah, like Jeeves, Frenzy Grind, all the heavy hitters, all the non-heavy hitters, like let us know in the comments what you think. Okay, go for it. <laughs> All right, so I've got I've got a total of eight driver tickets. However, in the shop, I've got one uh, down here. I just might as well buy it. Yeah. Right? I've been kind of waiting long enough. Totally. I'm going to need it. We're just going to go ahead and buy it. Okay. Purchased. Okay. So I have nine tickets right now. And looking at... Bowser's Castle 3T. I've got five drivers, four of which are at level one, and one of which is at level four. Now, the one that I have at level four is Fire Rosalina. Okay. She's in half level land. Okay. And eight tickets. Okay. I'm sorry, nine tickets would get her to level seven. Okay. Because it would take one to get her to five, uh, three to get her to six, which would be four. Okay. And then five to get her to seven, which would be nine. Okay, cool. So that's option one. So that's option one. Okay. But she's fire flower and not really useful to my inventory. And I'm like, uh. Yeah. The other, um, so the other thing is with all these level ones, okay. it takes nine tickets to get something to level six. Okay. So I could use those nine tickets to get one of them, a non plus skill player, to level seven. Or a plus skill player to level six. Okay. And I can double uncap either uh, any of these. Okay. So then it comes down to well, do we do Samurario, who I was super excited about pulling for? Okay. I think he's one of the awesomest looking characters in the game. Yep. I feel like he's kind of been shafted as far as like the buffs that he's been given. He has a lot of overlap with stuff that I already have at really high level. Okay. Um, and he's got Boomerang Flower, which I'm just, it doesn't really get me out of bed in the morning. Like, yeah. it's really hard. Like, I leveled PD up. I maxed him for this one because I'm using him on, like, five tracks. Yeah. And, and the hard. I can't, I'm not able to perform as well as I would like with a boomerang flower. It all just comes down to luck. Like, how do things fall in your place between right. the bots and the frenzies and yeah. all that stuff? So, to that point, I also have Charge and Chuck here. Okay. Who um, would be Lucky 7, yeah. which I enjoy driving a lot more. Yep. Uh, because I think it's a lot easier to get, like, the higher actions and Correct. faster. And time is kind of, like, of the essence right now. Yeah. So... So here's the thing. So did you say, have you made the survey yet? Did you do all three? Did you do Samurario, Chuck, and... Sure. Yeah. And I am going to go read everybody's comments too. So keep commenting because they're super helpful. Um, yeah. Okay. Because here's the other thing. So just like as far as life goes. So tomorrow you're going to play while I drive us to St. George, which is like a four or five hour drive. Uh -huh. So you have that time and all day tomorrow that we're not doing things. You're working Tuesday for work. And then we have Tuesday night and tonight. Like you can stay up as late as you want grinding, right? So we're, we are getting down to, so like time is of the essence, essentially. Like how, what are the best things to get the best runs? Okay. Can I start reading what people are saying? We have so many comments. Yeah. And while we do that, uh, I ended up putting a survey in Discord yesterday to try and get like some, just some input. Yeah. Because I had kind of already made up my mind and just wanted like some either 
like a confirmation that what I was thinking was okay. Okay. Um, and then like pull the trigger. Okay. But then uh, it didn't work out that way. <laughs> okay. And so now I'm interested to see what YouTube says versus what. Okay. Auto Drift said you level up your score massively or skill massively. Chicken Leg said, I, oh, hold on. Sorry. I hope it's not there when I'm going for ACR. Uh, do make a post tour reaction video regarding your top 10 attempt, of course. Um, so, like your thoughts, what you learned, those emotional roller coaster moments. Okay, so more rubies, please, says charging check 100%. David Vila says, I think Samurai is the best investment. Masa says, charging Chuck to six. Crazy says, Samurai, because Chuck has lost some relevance. Let's see here. I'm going to keep going. Uh, don't level Rosa, more rubies, please, says. Chuck to six, says Jeeves. Um... This is the moment you waited for with Samurai. I don't see a better opportunity than now. Says more rubies, please. Let's see here. Samurai isn't a bad choice. I hate boombox, though, says Jeeves. Samur so people think Samurai is better long term. Okay, Autodrift says, if you haven't done this track yet, just spend one ticket on Rosa. Make her level five in single cap. A double coin frenzy here is around 200 actions. Uh, I don't know about that. So let's see here, because elsewhere in the tour, this is 3T, right? Bowser Castle 3T. So Bowser Castle 3T, when I used uh, a coin box driver, because he got cup, uh, he got pipe boosted, uh, Meowser, I got 213 actions. What was that with? I was with a coin, a coin box frenzy, a banana frenzy, and two normal coin boxes. So... Which is still 84%. I know that was a hard one, but you could probably go back and... If you were to go back on any of those, isn't this one of those that you'd go back on? I mean, I got 60,000 out of it. Okay. I think that I've got a lot of other courses that I've got a lot more... See, the thing is, after 200 actions, mm -hmm. you're getting like a third of the amount of points per action okay. that you would normally get under 200. A two auto drifts point, a double coin frenzy here is around 200 actions. So with fire, Rosalina, I don't know. I'm just reading what people are saying. But then what do I do with those other tickets? So I spend one ticket on Rosalina to get her to five. Yeah, you kind of have the mentality of you're going all in, right? Yeah, because I kind of need... If that's the case, I'd go with Chuck, because you're just as likely to get... What he's saying is 200 action counts... Right? With, like, more likely to get that with Chuck than you are Rosalina. And right. you hate Boombox right now. Boombox is just not friendly time-wise. I don't know. Okay, let's see what else. Victor says, best of luck. I will say the run with Boomerang will sometimes never come, but you may need the extra scoring potential with Boomerang. You may need to go with Mario. Yeah, and see, here's the Friendly thing. It's like... Samurai to six. Good Boombox tracks. Three second shelf coin boxers is big. Right, and that's one of the issues that I'm having with um, some of these uh, PD Piranha ones is because there's no coin boxers on middle shelf. Yeah. And so it's just really tough. Yeah. And so, and then, so the other thing was I was leaning towards Samurario. Yeah. Because in the trailer for next tour, the Mario versus, ooh, hold on a sec. Oh, snap. You dropped combo once, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just want to make sure. These box are, box are brutal sometimes. What's the firestorm? Uh, he says, go friends if I'm boy. Okay, so Samurario, he was featured in the trailer for next tour. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I had kind of made up my mind that I was going to go for Samurario, but then, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Why do I get the double coin frenzies or coin box frenzies on like just really junky runs? Hey. <laughs> it's your first time playing it, right? Like, the I mean, tonight. I mean, tonight, yeah. Yeah, so, like, the bots are horrible, and you are not planning on that being the run. 164 actions. Oh, yeah. You have more. Stanler's on here. What's up, oh, Stanler? Oh, you're Stanler. All right. Auto Drift says this track is 140 actions frenzy list. 
that's why the target is 255 for coin box. Definitely gives extra 50 action count. It'll get very close to 200 action count with just a DCF. Double coin frenzy. Yeah, and perfect lines milk every possible action. Hmm. Uh, more reviews, it please says no one has time for boomerang. Honestly, guys, come on. <laughs> Speak my language. So what's the poll saying so far? Okay, we are looking at 50% say charging Chuck. We have 22 votes, so we have 34 people watching. Um, Let's see here. Sorry. 50% is charging Chuck, 45 is Mario Samurai, and 5% is Fire Rosalina. Oh, look at this. Oh, snap. How many of this point did you pick up? It looked like a lot. Uh, I could have picked up more. Try to go in a straight line, but okay. Let's see. Uh, er Sandler says I would invest in Gold Chuck instead of Fire Rose in it or Samurai. Wait, it's not. It's not Gold Chuck though. It's oh yeah, OG Chuck. It's just OG Chuck. Sorry, Sandler. What did you take Gold Chuck to? <laughs> That's so funny. Um, Prince of the Boy didn't have the luxury of getting gold check, and he spent way more rubies on him than I did. Is he on this one? On this one? Yeah. That no. I'm currently playing? Yeah. No. Okay. But he's not on. He's not available on Bowser 3T. Gotcha. If he was available, then that would have changed a lot of the strategy this week. You would have just 100% gone for him. I mean, I did 100% go for him. I just decided to stop spending money on stuff that didn't help me at all after 152 pulls. Uh -huh. And yeah, we're not going to... E.R. Sandler says normal check, sorry. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so what did he, check, sorry. He, he, said, he said to go with normal check then? Yeah. See, that's what I'm kind of thinking too. Okay, so... Antinian says, hello, friends of fans. I wish you a wonderful night and the best of luck. To you, friends of fanboy. Hey, Antonio. What's up, bud? So here's the thing: is over the past few tours and months, I've noticed that uh, Pink Shy Guy Ninja Pinja, he's got a lot of overlap with Chuck. It seems like whenever like one of them gets buffed, the other one also gets buffed. That same one. So I've got Pinja at six and double uncapped, and I've got enough tickets to take whatever whichever of the two to six and double uncap. So it's not like any of those courses would be improved. I would just have the option of choosing either giant banana or lucky seven. Yeah. Which might actually be okay because some courses might be more conducive to giant banana. Yeah. Or to lucky seven. So I can't say the same though. I can't say that I've done the same analysis with Sam Rario. Yeah. I think he said he just has a lot of coin box overlap. Ooh. Firestorm says level seven is an easier grind than boom box. 100%. Level seven fire Rosalina? Um, maybe because that's your option for level seven, right? Yeah. All right. Mark. Car Car I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. I'm just gonna call you Mark. He says new to the game and viewer trying to learn how to manual drift and I'm frustrated. Hey, Mark, you and me both. I started off, you're better off than I am. I literally, I used uh, gyro mode for like the first year. Totally detrimental to my game. Don't ever do that. I'm back. Okay. Oh no, we have a little buffering issue. Why? My face is stuck in a really funny spot. Wait, did we lose you guys? Okay, it's kind of just choppy right now. Give it a second. It'll reconnect. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Um, let me know if it's stopped for you guys. Has it stopped for you? And a bit rate is showing like very low. Come on, computer. Sorry, guys. We life on the life on the road. It's a real thing. Mark said video stopped. Oh. Come on, phone. Let's do something here. 
Sounds fine, just picture. Okay, so if you guys can hear us, just give us a second while we try to figure out the internet situation. Um, if this does happen to quit, we'll probably start up another one. So just look for like a notification for another one to start up. Um, life on life on the road. Both are fine, I would say, says ER Stanler. I don't know if you're talking about our internet and stuff, right? <laughs> talking about the drivers. <laughs> Okay, Fire Storm says working, but a little choppy. Okay, is your phone stuck on this one? No, I'm back to the home screen. Okay. You know what, guys? Thanks for being patient with more Ruby's plays. I appreciate it. It's stressful oh. doing this stuff. Okay, so now we're back to... It's still laggy. And this computer isn't hooked up to this, is it? I don't think so. I think this is on my... Oh, hold on, guys. <laughs> hold on, we have a problem. I thought it was on the Wi-Fi, so give me a second, y'all. I say y'all now that we actually left Georgia. Okay, let me see if I can connect to this. Okay. To, like, the pull. Oh. Invest in between, and, like, have to use in the future. Charging Chuck Mario. Which one do you like better? So I'd really like to get use out of Samurario. Okay. So let's take a look here. This is my overlap with Charging Chuck. Okay. So Bowser Castle 3T. That's the one that we're considering. Cheap Cheap Island. I think I have like uh, Penguinette on that. Okay. Um, DK Summit R. DK Summit T. I would probably use him. Calamari Desert 2RT has two lovely unlocks. One's Tux and one's uh, Ty Daisy. Okay. So I would, if it's in ranked, I would just take either one of them to eight. Okay. Uh, Should be less choppy, but I don't know if we see. Let's see. Did it do the handoff? Hold on. Thing? Reconnection sex successful. Is it working now? All right. Oh. I think it's working now. Okay, then maybe put this on here. Okay, yeah. This computer, so that we don't... All right, let's see if this is better. We switched from... I have Verizon. We were using his Wi-Fi work Wi-Fi, which is AT&T, and I think it's better now. So let me switch this to here. All right, it's kind of working now, someone says. All right, let's just give this a second for it to catch up. I think it's better. Oh, yeah, we're, like, smooth now. Can you see us? It's like way so much better. Go Verizon. Verizon, it's your birthday. We're gonna party back. It's your birthday. Oh. All right, let's see what happens. Oh. I don't know. Hold on. We're almost there. Okay, it looks good now. This is better. Good switch. Okay, good. Okay, cool. We're gonna pretend like we're all good. No more lag. Go Verizon. Guys, this stuff stresses me out. My goodness. No, yeah, my goodness. Okay, we're back. Sweet. I have no idea how many people we lost, but... So what's the poll saying? And also, I want to see how far behind we are. I'm going to go like this and see what time it is and see when we see that in the camera. Okay. Um, the poll is saying that... Still charging Chuck. Charging Chuck. 48% to charging Chuck. Okay. Okay. I think the stream is just a little bit behind. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to go. So I'm going to try a few more times because okay. I'd really like to get some more on Mushroom Gorge. Okay. Let's see what the poll is. Let's see if anyone can come up with any type of argument to make me go away from Chuck. Okay. And until then, we can also chat about the pipe stuff. Oh my goodness. How are you guys feeling about this no pipe pulling business? It's cart life. Hey, Sammy. You just missed all of our round 18 of technical gift difficulties. We're pretending like we're professional YouTubers. It's we a hot mess. We can't wait till we have a home again. Yep. Okay, so... For those who are just joining right now, since we had a hot mess of crappy tech, okay, tell everybody what you're doing. All right, so right now I'm just trying to get a few more points on Mushroom Gorge because I feel like I'm leaving a lot on the table here. Okay. 
Um, and we're trying to figure out if I should level up Charging Chuck to six and double on cap or Samurario to six and double on cap. Um, because that's kind of like the last course that I have to play to really get like a lot of points out of. So that was the debate. Sammy D, what would you do? Would you do Fire Rosalina one ticket to level seven, Charging Chuck? No, oh, sorry, sorry. Everything's nine tickets. Everything's nine tickets. Nine tickets on Fire Rosalina to get her to level seven. Nine tickets to get Charging Chuck to level six. Or nine tickets to get Mario Samurai to level six as well. Okay, so what is your... Okay, Stanler wants to know what's your estimation for this tour. That's where you're estimated right now? Is that with leveling up someone on this other course, or have you not calculated it? Okay. Yeah. So it kind of makes me sad. You've been working real hard. I know. And Auto Drift had a good point. Okay. My skill level has increased a lot. Okay. Since the last time that I, like, went all in for something. Yeah. And... So I'm not trying to sell myself short. However, it's a little, and by a little I mean incredibly, disheartening Yeah. to see that people that have estimates like 100,000 less than me yeah. are getting 100,000 more points than I currently am able to get based on my okay. uh, skill level. So the way that you've been playing the game, so your technique, it's not even a strategy. Your technique is he raced all the races a couple times just to get the all clear pipe. And now he's going through each single one and trying to maximize his score. So as of right now, he has about six races that you haven't really, like, grinded yet. Correct? Uh, No, so it was six based on the cutoff from yesterday. Okay, okay. And I've played quite a few since. And so now I really only have, like, two or three courses that I have kind of untouched. Okay. Um, but I don't think that there's enough. So let's take a look at, so for those who are just joining, let's take a look. You showed everybody else earlier, kind of like your, can we take a look at them again? At what? Your races. So you have like a lot of triple frenzies that you've gotten. Oh, these right here? So this is kind of like a snapshot, bird's eye view of what's been yeah. going on, right? I mean, so, you know, for each cup, I'm getting like 92.7. That 89 isn't very good. 92, 94, 90, 92, 85. I think that has Piranha Plant slide R. <laughs> Which it has been a jerk. 95%, 95, 92, 91. So I'm in the 90s. Yeah. But you just can't be in the lower 90s. And get top 10. And competitive with top 10. Um... Unless you have even stronger and even higher estimate. Like, I'd have to have, like, a 2.2 .2 or 2.3 million estimate. Okay. I think in order to be able to do it. And and this is the thing, is I've been saving up tickets for months and months and months. Yeah. I would have been fine with a Bowser tour coming in another couple months. So I'd have more, like, 400 or 500 tickets. Yeah. To be able to get everything to, like, level 8. Because, see, here's the thing. We were talking about this a long time ago. I knew that my skill level wasn't up to snuff to actually be like a legit top 10 contender. Okay. The only way for me to be able to try and compete was to try and get my levels and mm -hmm. base points up to a degree higher than the top 10 players to compensate for my lack of uh, skill level in the game. Okay. Right? And so... When the Bowser level hit, it was like, okay, well, there's a hard cutoff. Right. My 350 tickets that I've saved is the best that I'm going to be able to do. Yeah. And so, I mean, I've got 7.8, 7.6, and 7.8 for my driver cart and glider average. Okay. With 270, or two 2,787 points, like, average on. Okay. And before the me suits, 2,800 was the highest that you could get for base points. Right. And I'm like... 13 points shy of that. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Okay, so Auto Drift says just make sure you reach 100% for the last three tracks. 
E.R. Sandler says, yeah, it's kind of frustrating, but take it like that it's your first attempt for top 10, I think. Yeah, it is. Well, first and only. Yeah. <laughs> first and last. Oh, we learned a lot after our first. But yeah, 95.97 would be the goal. But 92% plus is great, too. Congrats. Okay. Autodrift said, if it's a coin box track, just clear badge bots and grind till you get it. Um, Sammy D up above agreed that Chuck is the fastest. Chuck, because he's the fastest to grind relative to AC. Um, what else do we have here? It's not really a lack of skill. It's a lack of time or rather not so much of lack of. Yeah. I have spent so much time. I've spent more time in auto drift. I guarantee you. Auto drift. How many hours have you put into this tour so far? <laughs> but auto drift does this like day in and day no, out. His skill is out of this world. DKR skill is out of this world. Zephyl's skill is out of this world. Gamer Amy's skill is out of this world. I am very much still on planet Earth. <laughs> and I, I'm the first one to tell you that. Like, I'm perfectly fine with that. I just wish that, that this loadout wasn't going as much to waste. <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> it's it, for anyone else, I feel like it's a, a it, it's a top it's a, it's like a sure thing, like a surefire top ten. For anyone else, what he means by that, for any of the other top twenty players in the world, that's not anyone else. I'm just saying you're awesome, okay? So just deal with it. All right. So how about we take? Are you gonna do Chuck Samurai or Fire Rosalina? The votes are in. Fifty one percent say Chuck. Thirty five percent say Mario Samurai. 14% say Rosalina. I think I should go with Chuck. You think I should go with Chuck? I think Chuck is... It makes sense. Unless you want to boombox. What is your... What's your glider on that? And does that play into effect at all? Uh, the glider I have... Is... Auto drift is... Starshoot. What's his skill? Uh, blooper, I think. Okay. Auto just says seven hours average, slightly less probably. Seven hours a day? Yeah. No, seven hours for the whole tour. Okay. <laughs> seven hours a day, yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Maybe he does spend more time. Hmm. Okay. So the other thing is with DKR, the sheet, okay. it says that when you do charging Chuck, my potential is 51,000. When okay. I do Samurario, it's like 53,000. Then do Samurario. Really? I don't know. So let's take a look at the 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 tracks that I've used Boomerang on. Okay. Oh yeah, like on the eighty five percent, seventy four percent, eighty nine percent, eighty four percent. I feel like they're my like lowest percentage tracks. Is it just because you didn't spend enough time like waiting for the boom boxes to fall? Like on that one, you have a blooper. It's been a lot of time. <laughs> hours so, and hours and hours and hours. So that one, you have a blooper, a boomerang, and a coin. Those are actually really good frenzies to have. On where? The one that you have 74%. Right? Piranha Plant Slide. That's what I thought too. I got 55,000 on it, and it's like, eh, B. Yeah. Give me a B on that. All right, Car Life said that's because Boombox 100% is an insane bar to reach. Yeah, so when you take a look, yeah. so I got 178 on, what is this, Piranha, Piranha Plant Slide? That makes sense. So when you go over here to Piranha Plant Slide, which is this guy, yeah, it's like 240 actions. So the way that this sheet is designed, though, that, that action remains the same whether you're Boomerang or... No? no, it changes. Oh, does it? Yeah, so that's what I'm saying, is with a boomerang, it anticipates... It, Getting a lot more. It okay. tells you that you should be able to get more with that perfect run gotcha. than like a Lucky 7. And so that's why Lucky 7 is 51,000 for this track. Yeah. While boomerang is like 53,000. Auto Drift or Stanler or other people who are watching who have done the top 10 run. On the boomerang tracks, what is your average like point? Per, what's your average percentage of completion, essentially? Oh, yeah. No, they're in like the 95 to 100. On the boomerang one? So you guys, what's the trick? Like, what's the trick? Is it just time? 
Is it just waiting? I have this theory that there's a place on the screen that if you like a million times, it gives you the perfect run. You're up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA select start code. <laughs> yes, it's never worked for me, but I'm determined to find one. I too will be a top 10 player. <laughs> Aye, aye, aye. Current life says you're winding to day one. Your goal was just to do your best, not necessarily get top 10. That's what it's all about. Heading to bed, but we'll listen in. Sammy D, have a great night. Thanks for saying yeah. hey. Thanks for joining, Sammy. And 100%. He's had a really good attitude this entire time. Like, I think part of this is just like working through it and being like, hey, is it possible? What can we do to improve? And by we, I mean him. I just, I'm the cheerleader, you know? That's what I do. Mm-hmm. So what are you going to do? Are you going to do Chuck, Samurai, or Rosalina? Because I want to see you start grinding that one. So people on Discord said Chuck. People on YouTube are saying Chuck. Yep. What are you saying? I'm saying Chuck. You're saying Chuck? Yeah, I like go with the crowd. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm going to say Chuck just because I think um, I really like Lucky 7. Okay. I think it's good. Boomerang's hard. Unless if if this was day one and you already had the progress, like the progress that you've had, I would say go boomerang and just like play the odds. Mm -hmm. But if you don't think that boomerang's gonna, do you think? But it was seen that Samurario will get you two thousand more than charging Chuck, right? Its ceiling, yeah, is two thousand higher. What but, do you think? Yeah. So here's the thing is like, okay, but if I get 74%, if I get 75% okay. of a 2000 point higher potential okay. versus say 90% yeah. of 2000 point potential less, yeah. what's going to be more points? Yeah. I don't know. I People who are engineers should know this though, right? I mean, yeah. All right. More reviews, please, please. It says, just hit 200 for Boomerang and leave it. Uh, Cart Life says, listen to Crazy. Let's see here. And Crazy said, you'll get 200 plus easy with Samurario on that track, though. It's an easy 200. Yeah, so then go with Sam... Oh, with Samurario, you will. Go with Samurario. I don't know. I'm going to get a drink. Okay. Good luck getting a drink. Um... Boomerang, where are we at? Guys, I'm so scattered. I apologize. More rubies. I already read what you said. Okay, so Autodress says Boomerang must be around 100%. Firestorm says you're killing it and one of the highest ACR scoring ever. Guys, right? How many people normally get over 2 million points? Blows my mind. There's a lot of them. I think only seven players so far. I was looking at it last night to try and give myself like a little bit of a... Pep talk? Pep talk? Yeah. Because if I could get 2 million, but still not hit top 10, yeah. I think I can still pretty, feel pretty good about myself. Okay. Um, let's actually go and see. Let's take a look. Robert Green's with me. We haven't found the magic button yet. Trying to boombox with a poor lobby makes everything so much harder. Yeah. Says Crazy. E.R. Sandler says, I would say it's the perfect combination of a good lineup for a boombox. Tamara says, I got over 100% of the estimate... With Chuck, 220 AC, Blooper, Lucky 7, Frenzy with single Lucky 7, or three single Lucky 7s. Auditor says the perfect BB lobby, one or two badged bot, one, okay. Because, I mean, really what it comes down to is... Okay, so I want to read, oh, sorry, I wasn't understanding this. Okay, so Autodrift is saying the perfect boombox lobby is one or two badged bots, one of them is a coin box, or one or two coin box non badge two coin box bots for now for front row start. I cannot talk tonight. Sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna take a picture of that and digest it later. Yeah. So, because in order to be able to get a coin box frenzy, your highest percentage. Yeah. Let's actually go there now. If we go over to Frenzy Fan Discord. Auto Drip says to... you'd go for right. You'd. Go fire Rosa and save your tickets for Gold Chuck. For Gold Chuck? He doesn't have Gold Chuck, guys. Chuck. But I appreciate us all rubbing it in because it's, it's one of the one things I'm beating him at in the game right now is Gold Chuck. I took Gold Chuck to level six. I'm excited for him. Masa says go with your heart. 
David says Chuck is faster and then boom box a PD truck you haven't yet. It's a better use of your time than Samurario and needing to do it all again on a PD track. That's a good point, too. What do you say? He's saying to do Chuck because it's faster and then spend your time on a boombox track that you haven't gotten like a higher action count on. Yeah. Because here for a boomerang driver, lap one. Excuse me. And the Lawson transliteration says Samurai because he's going to be used in next tour. What's up, Jack the Dark Blue Yoshi? Welcome to our HodgePodge live stream. Man, I'm still torn. I hear everyone, and I agree with your, except for the Fire Rosalina, which is coming from the best player in the entire game. <laughs> Tells me. <laughs> I guess I'm still kind of leaning towards Samurario. Do Samurario. He has the higher ceiling. You're just as lucky, like, just as likely to get as many points with him as you are with Fire Rosalina. So if the best direct, he's only saying that to preserve your tickets because he's saying you get the most bang for your buck there, right? If you're going all in and don't care about tickets and you can still get that run with Samurario and it helps you next tour likely and you have the higher ceiling and he's not as phased out as Charging Chuck is and Charging Chuck has a lot of overlap with Pinja. All these things say Samurario, which I know is not what I said two seconds ago. I know. <laughs> All right, guys. I don't know what to tell them. I'm just reading everybody's comments. Chuck says, oh, wait, no, hon. What's up, Hero of the Sky? How's school going? Hero. Okay, Crazy says you're going to crush it with Samurai. He will give you more points for sure. Sounds like Samurai is in your heart, so go with Samurai, says Tamara. Tamara, sorry. Hero, we miss you. He says he misses you, Frenzy fanboy. He didn't mention me, but that's okay. What, is, what does Hero think? Should I go with Samurai or Charging Chuck? Stanler says, Fire Rosalina, you need triple coin Frenzy. Chuck, you have many options. Singles with double. <clears throat> um, Lucky seven. Or Lucky 7 with Double Coin, etc. Samurai, you need Boombox and another Frenzy. That's actually very helpful. Okay, so Rosalina, you need a Triple Coin Frenzy. Chuck, you have tons of options. Singles with Double Lucky 7s or Lucky 7s with Double Coins, etc. Samurai, you need a Boombox plus another Frenzy. What sounds easiest to you? I say just commit to it and start doing it, because we're wasting precious time. I know. I know. There's, there's so many coin boxers here. There's a ton of coin... What, what is this to be? There's a lot... It's not like there's one coin boxer on the second shelf. Should we just do Samurario? Let's do Samurario. Okay. I hope I don't regret this. Because he's going to be in all the courses next week. Yeah, but what if he also gets, like, Meowsers get buffed, or, like, he's on a gold me buff? What if that happens to Charging Chuck? What if that happens to Gold Chuck? Uh, that's what very if... true. All right. A lot of what ifs. So... I'm not going to read to you what Hero of the Sky said. What did he say? Oh. Did he say Chuck? He said Samurario is pretty useless, in my opinion. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, this is killing me. You're stressing me out. I'm getting stressed out. I don't think there's a bad decision here. You have the tickets. You're going in all, 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 in, the, all in on this tour. If you don't want to spend tickets, listen to Auto Drift. No, I'm fine spending tickets. I just don't know which one to spend them on. Go with Mario Samurai. He has the higher ceiling. He's going to be used next tour. Charging check is not as hot right now. It's too late. We're going with it. That's what I'm saying. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Samurario it is. Woo! Man. Cool. And the thing is... TJ says, who really wants the boom bucks? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. But that's the thing is all you need is... One boom box and one frenzy. 
according to Standler. Oh, and finish first. And finish first. <laughs> it only happens the first couple times when you have a fast lobby that you don't finish first. You'll be okay. Chicken leg likes boomboxing, so we'll just lean on you for lean on you for moral support. <laughs> Hero, I miss you. Hero says, good luck with the boombox. Robert says, you'll be set either way for this track. I mean, that's a pretty awesome second level boombox track. Right. Like, and it's not all of them have that. Luck. And this isn't yeah. like a, um, like a nitro course where it like won't come back. So it'll be totally. good to have like, yeah, you know, a good, a good driver with good potential for, for boomboxing. Yeah. E.R. Stanler says you'll get 200 actions with him. Let's go. Okay, E.R. Stanler. You're doing it. I'm doing it. I don't think he said it that fast. I think I just read it fast. Oh. Yeah, but that let's go at the end is kind of like, come on, let's go. But he has a face with starry eyes in it, so it's more oh, like, like, let's go. I can hear that. I can hear that. All right. Auto Drift said, let's go boomboxing. So, Auto Drift, how was your flight? Are you in your destination location or are you like on a um, layover? I'm curious. Hero, thanks for taking a break from studying just to watch our live stream. That's great. Um, in the beginning, you missed all of our tech difficulties because we're in a hotel again and we're pretending like we're good at YouTube again. <laughs> <laughs> we're somewhere in Utah, Salt Lake City area ish again. It's a good life. All right. So, Silver King. And boy, oh boy, do I love this black star shoot. That is sexy. It is delicious. It's delicious. It's been a lot of fun. That is a really cool, just oh, aesthetically boy, looking. One, two. Okay, so I got two, two coin boxes. Two coin boxes. All you need is one. I'm stretching out my legs, so hopefully I don't break the light the world. Okay. Um, all you need is a boom box. Well, this is a great track for this one. I would have told you Samurai a long time oh, ago. I remember this now. Okay, so it's been a while since I've played this. So I'm going to need... you a couple ones to get lined. Yeah. Okay, guys, everybody give us your um, best tips and tricks for this course. Yeah. Best lines. See, it's easier to get that box in between the thwomps on the, just like the normal three because it's laying on the ground. You have to like be a specific point in the in the course to be able to like time getting that box that's on top of the thwomp. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at this, look at this, look at this. How many did I get? That was a lot. <laughs> I wasn't Did you see that? I wasn't even I wasn't even paying attention I either. Do you? I got fifty one coins already. This is your ninety nine actions so far? Oh boy. <laughs> You're doing great. You're halfway there. Um, I was just reading about auto drift being in Thailand. That's why I wasn't paying attention to you because I was imagining yeah. Thailand and all this beauty. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get here it. We go. Okay. I never can hit that one. Granted, I suck at this game. <laughs> um, let's see here. Auto drift says around one hour before I go out and tour the beaches. That'll be fun. Auto drift, you're in my dream trip right now. Between Thailand and New Zealand, I can't decide which one I want to do more. How do you feel right now? So I don't think I got the second frenzy. I got that boombox yeah, you did. that that uh, that uh, uh, E.R. Stanler was talking about, but I don't think I got that other frenzy. Okay. So 174 actions. That is very generous, actually. Like the very first run. Yeah, I've been trying so hard on other boomboxing courses, and you have just can never get box. there. Say a one, that two, three, right. four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-eight coins. Yeah, hero. This guy said, "Be careful. You have PD bot. He might steal your coins." It's true. Um, let's see here. Firestorm says, I want to stick around and cheer you on, but I got to hit the hay. Firestorm is way late for you. You should totally hit this hay. Also, 
Um, two weeks from now, we, I don't know if you're still here. You may have already left. Two weeks from now, we're in Orlando for my conference. We're going to Disney World on Sunday, the, not the next Sunday, but the Sunday after that. You should come with us to Disney World. We're doing the Star Wars stuff. Hold on. I'm looking at my calendar really quick to tell you an actual date. It is going to be. Okay, you should chat with people while I chat with Firestorm. Okay. All right. So are there any tricks? Sunday the 18th, Firestorm. Wait, is that right? Yeah, that is right. No. Yeah. Oh, that is right. Sunday the 18th, Firestorm. Come with us to Disney World. Okay, the item box on top of the thwomp is annoying. Right, Robert? Yeah. I feel yeah. Because, like, it's there, it's there. Oh. Oh, oh. It helped me. <laughs> Real. Did I nab it? That's okay. There's no coin boxers on this. Cream, what's up, man? Cream. Okay, here's what you missed. Technical difficulties, major debates, and delay on... Um, let's see. Up 1,000. I am slacking. Guys, I'm in a perpetual state of Mario Kart slacking right now. Mainly because my life has been busy. But also... I just don't have time, but um Autodrift says 38 coins for a boombox is low to be honest. <laughs> okay, good night, Stanler. Thanks for hanging out with us. Lost Sorry for the lag. Let's figure this out. Okay, up there it keeps going. Why does it do that? Is it still connected? Okay, try. Let's see. Sorry, guys. We're trying to figure out what's going on. Click on it. Up. Go up two boxes to the left. Yeah. Yeah, it says it's connected. Oh, my phone's about to die. I wonder if that's it. Oh. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. The phone's about to die. We have like a million cords everywhere. I have a charger next to the bed. Sure, if it is. I mean, it's down to ten percent, but I think since it's below fifteen, it's yeah, it might be. You can plug it into that thing over there, guys. We have twenty bajillion cords right here. Let's see. Oh, green. It went green. That's it. All right, we're back. If you missed anything that we were saying, um, my phone apparently once it gets down to below fifteen percent. It lags. So I think we should be good now. Okay. Sorry for the lag. One, two. Tell me if it's better now. Okay. Let's see. I think it's better now. Hopefully. You guys are a couple seconds behind us. Let's see. I think it's fixed. Maybe. All right, guys, is it better now? Um, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but basically I am using my phone as the hotspot and it dropped below 15% battery, which slowed down the bitrate streaming. Good, I'm glad it's better. That's great. Thank you for being patient with us. Um, Kareem said, sorry, I've not been, we haven't streamed a whole lot, Kareem. We did a few. I think you were on the last one that we did. All right. Where are you at right now? So we want to know if you broke 2 million. No, I'm at 1.52. So I need to get like another good, like five or 6,000 on this one. Yeah. And then, man. I hate that thing. And then I need to go back to, uh. Oh, and then I have uh, a Chaco Island. Okay. Um, that's in the me cup. Okay. That um, you know, maybe we could maybe we could do that. Okay. Let's go to that because I think I just have to put one ticket on the wild black. Okay. And let's see how close um we can get with uh. 
getting to two million uh, okay. by having played that course because that's really like the last course. So this guy right here. Kareem has a question for you. Oh, what's up? he said this track with Chuck is maybe the funnest track. However, <laughs> and then he said, "How is it with Sammer?" <laughs> Kareem, we had everybody in the live stream can t attest that we had a forty-five minute debate about what to do, and then we, yeah, and we didn't do it. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see here. I feel like I missed a couple things. Sorry, guys. I'm catching up on comments really quick. Uh, Auditor says the first thing you need to do with this track is to figure out a timing to get the item box on the top of the thwomp. Okay. I'm going to ignore everybody who's giving us delayed comments not to do Samurai. Uh... Few things to consider. If you get a frenzy, how much to stall or no need to stall? If no frenzy, first box, how much to stall or not to stall? Okay. So I need to buy one ticket. So I'm going to buy it. I think TJ's a couple minutes behind because he's, he's just cheering for you to get Chuck right now. Hey, Shy Guy Cart. I totally missed your message. Hold on. Oh, hey. Let me go find it. I saw someone say something to Shy Guy Cart, so I'm assuming he's here somewhere. What's up, Shy Guy Cart? Oh, there he is. Best of luck on the grind, he says. Thanks, Shy Guy Cart. If you get a second... Okay, so Auto Drift also says, if you get a frenzy second item box, you need to stall. Otherwise, you get nothing from the third box. What are you leveling up right now? Wild the uh, black, the wild black, I think. For which race? Um, the Chaco Island. Everybody loves Chaco Island. Everybody in the comments is just like my favorite track in the entire Chaco world. Chaco Island. Chaco Island. All right, so Auto Drift is giving you like a step by step cheat code. So if you get a frenzy. You need to consider how much are you going to stall or not to stall at all. If no frenzy in the first box, how much do you need to stall or not install at all? If you get a frenzy a second item box, you need to stall. Otherwise, you get nothing from the third box. Because you get there too fast if you don't yeah. stall. Mm -hmm. Okay, Cream says, oh, must be issues on my end. Sound is not good on my end for some reason. Can't hear you, but yep, I'll keep watching you a bit. Can you guys hear us? Oh, okay, good. Kareem, reset YouTube and he can hear you. Sweet. That's great. We've been having crazy tech issues, mainly because um, we have like, I have like 20 billion cords wrapped around my legs right now just to make this all work. Um, Hero says, I'll miss Frenzy Fan's pipe pulling party. You know what, Hero? We're going to still have a blast. We're going to come up with something that is equally as fun. Though I don't know if there's going to be anything in the game that gets quite the facial reactions from Frenzy Fanboy. So someone took a screenshot of you and you got gold chuck. It was <laughs> Both of our faces. It was hilarious. I was in pure <laughs> awe and you were like trying to be supportive but also crying tears of sadness for your loss of charging your gold chuck. Okay, let's see. What's up, guys? God mode. We were talking about you earlier. We were wondering if you were going for top 10. Yeah, God Jeez. mode. What's up, big guy? Told us you were not. I don't know if that's the case. He's rooting for you, is what he says. Oh. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys can hear. Robert Green says, the Chaco tracks have been my greatest source of misery this tour. Right. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of misery on a Chaco track... While you were getting home today, I was like, you called me and said that you were just getting off the freeway and that you were going to come pick me up. I was like, okay, so I've got like enough time to like just do a random run on a random track. Totally. Whatever. So I do the one with King Bob -omb. Um, It's like, I forget which one it is. It's like over here. I think it says Choco Island 2RT, in fact. Okay. And all of a sudden... Out of nowhere, like, all the bots are badged. It's the first time racing it. Yeah. I get a double coin box frenzy with a normal box and come in second place. Oh. Uh, of course. Yeah. Come in second place. Like, yep. why not? But, so look, I get 46,000 on it. 
And granted, I mean, I've got really talented friends here. Studfit, 41. Krugga, 41. Jeeves, 44. Jeeves. Cincy Grind, 44. 42. Where's Kanye? 35. Granted, he's kind of taking this tour off. So anyway, it's like, man, it's still a really good score. Yeah. But it's still like I left like four or five thousand on the okay. on the table. All right, Kareem has a good question. I know that we did this for everybody earlier, but he wants to know um how you're doing track percent wise. Sorry if you've said this already, is what he said. So let's go back to this just so everybody who's just now joining can get an idea of where we're at. Guys, I say we. It's him. I'm doing nothing. Yeah. So track percent wise, and granted, I haven't filled in the scores for like these two tracks that I'm doing right now, but it's yeah. like the potential score that I could get if I don't get the gain that I've averaged on all the other tracks, yeah. essentially. So I'm sitting at around 92%, which puts me at like 1.98 million. Yeah. But you have mm. a lot of improvement you but, can do on some of them that you'll go back to. Yeah, so I need to go back to some courses, and I'm hoping to be able to at least get to the two million. Yeah, two million's the goal. Yeah, it might not get top ten, but it's a, at least like a benchmark that he's shooting for that's within reach. Yeah, yeah. All right, people are asking us about pipe pulling parties and how we feel about it, and I don't, guys, I think I think it's gonna be good. Here's the thing: is the game is constantly changing, like it changes all the time. And I feel like we're like kids and Mario is our parent and like he knows what's best for us. Like he can see so much more. By the way, Mario is Nintendo, if you guys don't know that. But Mario can see like what's best for us, what helps out with the longevity longevity of the game. Things are not even on our radar. And so because of that, like it always works out. Like it gets frustrating. People get burned out, all that stuff. So advocate for yourself. Um, but I think it's fine. The pipes that are gone are just the ones that you spend rubies on. So it's mainly to, my guess is to allow like all the countries who are banning gotcha games to continue to play, right? So because of that, like they very clearly said it, like it's just ruby pipes. We're going to probably still have our token pipes. We'll probably still have like our free pipes and anything that we don't actually have to spend money on. And then on top of that, they had this huge disclaimer that was like, there are tons of changes coming too. So I have a hard time even knowing how I feel about it because I don't know what is actually happening yet. That being said, I think everything's going to be okay. I think it's all going to work out great. And we have a blast with the game, whether it's pipe pulling parties or strat chats or whatever the heck. Like, I'm kind of hoping battle mode, like, unleashes, like, this whole part of the game that's just going to be, like, fun and exciting and new and things that content creators aren't even thinking about yet. Anyways, I'm looking forward to it. It's life. It always changes. It's all good. That's my um, very hashtag soap box on it. All right. Let's see really quick what I missed out on. 82 actions. Come on, man. A lot of people will miss pipe pulling. Yeah, I know, David. Okay, I'm going to, like, I really am going to miss them. Like, Frenzy Fanboy, if you guys haven't watched it yet, for our one year anniversary, was it, of the game of creating videos, he put together the funniest comp like pipe pulling party compilation video. It took a lot of time and a lot of work, but some of the reactions, they're just good. Go back and look at like our one year anniversary video. It was really cool. Kareem says, well impressed. I salute you, sir, to 2 million and not top 10 is beyond harsh. Yeah, top 10 is beyond. But the main takeaway is made dread admiration. That's from Kareem to your face. Thanks, Kareem. Theopog says, I don't know if I want to go to bed or not. Should I toss a coin? Absolutely not. Or do you US, you got a it's a it's a weekend night. <laughs> I say advocate for yourself. I don't know what your daily schedule is like. If you gotta work tomorrow, you should probably go to bed though. Yeah. If you have a vacation day tomorrow or holiday. Right. Cream says, I think we have not got a clue what Mario has down the pipeline. <laughs> uh, see what he did there? I like it. I like it. He will keep us interested. He will. I mean, that's the thing, too, is like nobody, I think inherently, not many people like change, which is why we get all these big reactions. But every time there is a change, like it just unleashes a whole nother part of the game, right? Like 
everybody, a majority of you guys still probably hate level eight, but a lot of people like quit the game over this level eight announcement. But the game would be so stagnant right now had we not had the update. So that's just my take on life. First to sixth. Whoa, oh, 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 wait, 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 no, no, more like eighth. <laughs> <laughs> Curtis, what's up? Hey, Curtis. Late to the party. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Curtis. Are you thinking about coming back to the game? Like, I've seen you on, like, StudFit streams. You've been on our streams. Yeah. Are you coming? And we so, miss just to make sure, this is ER Curtis, correct? Oh, yeah, Curtis. Are you ER Curtis? Because I'd, be, I'd feel bad if there's just, like, some other random Curtis. <laughs> and, like... That we don't know. Or like, haven't been... I've never met Frenzy fans, but they're always <laughs> so excited to see Every... them. They're, they're like, that's not so. <laughs> uh, Kareem says, bring on level nine. You know, Kareem? Yeah, he would. I'm so bored with level eight. I don't have anything else to level up to level eight anymore. Cream, I love seeing your sc like your screen when it's just like all flashy and glowing, like it's eights across the board. It's it's impressive. The man, the cart size plan. Curtis says, "Yes, I am." Okay, good. <laughs> yes, he's playing. Yes, I am. <laughs> he's playing casual right now. Ooh, look at this. It's a little rough. <laughs> Two tickets are hard for coin boxers with yeah. all the jumps and stuff. Wait, did we already give up on the Samurario one? Yeah. That's a lot of decisions for two laps. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Oh, oh, I was going to hit it right then. Come on, man. It's like it knows that I have a coin box and I'm coming up on a straightaway, and then right as my finger comes down to hit the screen, it just knows. It just knows. It just knows. Guys, there's this whole other side to uh, Frenzy Fanboy that's hilarious. I wish, I wanted to start streaming more just so you guys can uh, catch on to all of his funny mannerisms when he plays. We'll be driving. So I've been like driving us across the country while he grinds the past week, pretty much. And my favorite thing ever is we'll be driving and I'll just be like randomly talking to myself pretty much. And then all of a sudden, like, he starts breathing heavy. He'd be like, <sighs> and then he gets a little bit quicker. And then, and then you hear, come on, come on, come on. Don't be cheap, don't be cheap, don't be cheap, don't be cheap. Don't be cheap. Uh, or, darn it. <laughs> Anyways, it's hilarious. Like, I can't, when we're driving, I can't watch him play, but it's hilarious listening to him play. Hey, we got another 8,000 there. With only 116 actions. I feel like this is like a good like 160 action course. Masa says every time you try to use coin box, you get lightning. Right? Right, it's a thing. But come on, Mario. Okay, so let's go back because... All right, so 1.966. So I'm 33,000 away. From two million. Okay. And I think it's just going to be a lot of like five thousand points here, five thousand yeah. points there. Ooh, one, two, three. Look at those. Whoa. Three coin boxers right there. Keep this lobby. Ooh, and I'm in the back. Wait. Oh, I'm in the I'm the I'm in the front of the second line. This is good. I took a picture of Auto Drift's advice earlier, so I okay. can reference it without having to scroll up. So let me okay. find it really quick. Okay. Kind of be not seventh. So this is not the perfect lobby because the perfect lobby is one or two badge bots. One of them is coin box and two or more, or coin box non badge, which you don't have, which is okay. Um, and then I don't think I took a picture of the other thing that I was going to take a picture of. Basically, do your best. Okay. We have faith in you. Auto drift, tell us what you actually said again. Oh, he's probably at the beach now. Yeah, he might be. Angeline, what's up? She said, uh, hello, hope you have a great night. Thanks. Just saw this live and just wanted to wish you a great night. Aw, thank you. Yeah, thanks Sweet for hanging out for a bit. Crazy says this is a really good lobby. Do not lose it. Right? That's what um, I'm saying. 
How many bots do you, or badges do you have in this? Wait, uh, bots do you have? Badges. Badges. I think it was like four. They're all bots. Oh, snap. Hey, you got, got it. it. Oh, yeah. He also was talking about um, finding your your pace so you can yeah. hit that. Yeah. So good job. Oh. Um, did you see that he had a coin box there? Snap. Oh, and I get a red shell frenzy? Duh. I think I'm probably gonna have to reset this one. Yeah, it's too good. I am, to I am. I am at 92 actions though for the first. Let's see what happens here. Kimmick's gonna get blue shell, which is unfortunate because we need his coins. Right. So now I'm supposed to stall. Like big time. Kareem says auto drift is insane. I just try to follow his scores as best as I can. Right. Yeah, it's true. Auto drift is currently. I don't know if he's still listening, but he was. He's in Thailand about to hit the beaches, to, about to tour the beaches. Good for him. Yeah, 138. I don't remember how many actions, how many actions did I get on this last time? 178. Oh, yeah, it wasn't the 170s, huh? Oh, really? That's great. Memory like a steel trap. Good job, good job. I actually don't know, it's probably not that. Uh, Heroes of the Sky says, when will you come back for cart talk? Okay, Hero, <laughs> here's the thing. Okay, our birthdays are two weeks apart. Like, pretty much two day, two weeks and one day apart. So, not this Friday, but last Friday when they were recording, we were off celebrating Frenzy Fan's boy birthday. And then on Friday was my birthday. So, we were just kind of doing our own thing. So, um, probably... Either the next one or the one after that. We'll be back. Um, the next one will probably be in... Georgia or Florida. Georgia or Florida. So if it's not the next one, it'll be the one after that. Look at all these coin boxes! <laughs> <laughs> Don't be cheap! Don't be cheap! Muscle. Oh, man. Wait, Curtis, you're at a beachfront hotel a short break before school starts again. How about that's fun. You don't have to tell us where, but what beach are you on? Or like what part of the world are you in right now? I love the beach. The stream's not laggy at all, but it's a little uh, pixelated. Hopefully you guys can all still see us good. You don't worry about the stream. You just play. Sounds good. I saw you spot checking it. What is this green shell nonsense? Absolute garbage. I mean, my my shoot is a blooper. Mm-hmm. Kira wants to know what type of cakes we had. I had a red velvet cake for my birthday. Okay, so for Frenzy Fanboy, we couldn't find him his dream cake. So we got Alpha Horse, which is like an Argentinian treat. Took him to an Argentinian restaurant because he lived in Argentina for two years. And he loves German chocolate cake. And I couldn't find one as late as it was. So we ended up getting a German chocolate cinnamon roll for it, <laughs> which is kind of fun. Yeah. And then for my birthday, I feel like everybody's made me a cake. Let's see, my... You should tell your story. Which one? The crumble. Oh my goodness. So many... Guys, I'm dessert... I've had so much sugar in the past couple days. Luckily, I'm just not like gorging all of it. I'm just having like little bites of everything. But Curtis says, still in British Columbia, Canada, a small town called... Oh, okay, cool. Um, I don't know how far away you... British Columbia. Okay. We were in Wenatchee, Washington for like the past month and a half. I wonder how far away that is from you. Probably a few hours. Yeah. It's a cool spot. Um, so Hero of the Sky. My cakes. I had, when we were in Boise, we stayed with Neil's aunt and she made me, sorry, Frenzy Fanboy's aunt. <laughs> <laughs> and she made me a chocolate cake of some sort. It was delicious. It was a carrot cake. It was a cake cake. Sorry, chocolate cake was my aunt. Okay, sorry. In Boise, she made me a carrot cake. And then my aunt, on my actual birthday here in Utah, made me 
like a chocolate ice cream cake. And then tonight we went to Cheesecake Factory and I got, I've only had like two bites of it, but I got a salted caramel cheesecake slice for free. That was great. But um, apparently this is the year of just insane, random luck on my part in regards to all the things. So when we first got to this hotel, I don't know if you guys have ever, if you guys ever heard of, well, first, hold on, we'll talk about food in a second. How do you feel about life right now? Oh, you know, just peachy. <laughs> Kareem says, cool as cucumber. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so when we first got to this hotel, there's this cookie store that I like called Crumble. It's like a franchise now, so a lot of places have it. But they make these massive cookies that are like the size of your head, and they have like this, they chill like the sugar cookie and put frosting on it, which is delicious. So I was like, I'm going to go to Crumble. We're going to be here for four nights. This was before I knew everybody was making me cakes. I was like, we're going to go to Crumble. I'm going to get a cookie, and I'm going to have like... A little bit of each each night, right? Or each day for dessert. So I go and they close at like 10 at night. We got here late. So I walked into this place like five minutes before it closed. I ordered my cookie. They have like a little kiosk that you order at and then you wait for your order. So I waited for my order and the guy was like, I have all these cookies that we're going to be throwing away. Can I give you a couple extra? And I was like, I guess, sure. Maybe Frenzy Fanboy wants some, I don't know. And so I was like, sure. So he starts packing them up. No joke. He tries to attempt to give me four dozen cookies the size of your head. And I cut them off, try to cut them off at six cookies. But he gave me a dozen. And I was like, okay, I'll give some to the hotel staff. I'll give some to like my family because we're going to their house. All the things. But we got so many cookies right now. Got cookies out of the ears. And these cookies are like four bucks a piece. And so I only paid for one cookie and we got 13 cookies. Story. Yep. Yeah, it is right here. Okay, crumble is amazing. It's great. It's delicious. And then it's kind of cool because they have like their set cookies, but then like they have like weekly specials or whatever. They're great. They're delicious. Anyways, sugar out the ears right now. It's a whole thing. All right. So when does everyone reset on this one using Boombox? Do you reset after the first or second box, or do you go like the whole entire lap to see if you have any type of Boomboxing luck. Okay, so we got some there. That was good. Oh, missed that one. Robert says I would have taken every single one of them. I was tempted to, but I honestly just like, I'm trying to lose some weight right now and be a healthier individual. <laughs> it's only accepting a dozen. I was like, that was a win for the night. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, Crazy says they reset after first. And I hit Kimmick. Not smart. Robert, the other reason why I didn't take a bunch more is because we're literally only here for a couple nights. Then we have to drive, but our car is so packed to the brim that, like, there's no room for anything. David said he just saw that you're 34K under 2 million. You should be able to get it. <laughs> Yes, I should. <laughs> you will. You'll get it. You'll get it. But going back to my crazy luck, apparently, so I just had my birthday on Friday, and this all had, this, the universe has conspired against Friday, but every time I go anywhere, I get free stuff. Like today, I didn't want lunch or breakfast, so I was like, let's just go get a Jamba Juice to hold us over till dinner, and they made too much, so they pretty much gave us an entire extra Jamba Juice. Oh, yeah. It's in the fridge, I think. It's, it's probably all watered down and gross. Anyways, people are just trying to make me back because I just keep eating extra stuff everywhere I go right now. It's it's kind of like oddly coincidental. Baba says, I got 50K with Lucky 7 and Coin Frenzy with Happy Peach Level 7 Triple Cap. Good, good. Congratulations. No, You'll be able. You'll be able to get it. Frenzy Van Boy's a little frustrated right now. He'll figure it out. Curtis says, "I'm wondering whether you can get a 200 action count with just three frenzies, like no boombox." Would yeah. you this lobby? Because this lobby is what 
three coin boxers? Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, how many coin boxers do you have in this lobby? Three, but what does what does what he's saying have anything to do with resetting the lobby? I guess you don't have to reset. Or I guess you don't have to complete it without. Because what's his question? He just wants to know how many actions are possible without. Yeah, with three frenzies, no boot box. I think Auto Drift was saying that it was two hundred. Because Auto Drift's opinion was mm -hmm. that. Oh, coin frenzies, three coin frenzies. Yeah, yeah. Auto Drift's opinion was that he should just put one ticket on Fire Rosalina to take her to level seven, and that she would have been enough. Because she would have been able to get two hundred. Actions, right? With three coin frenzies? Mm -hmm. Or some assortment of that? Okay. Curtis, now's our chance to see. Okay, this is your first frenzy, right? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Ah, I... How do you guys time that? So Auto Drift was saying to, like, time it, but I don't even know how one does that. I'm sure there's some really cool like counting mechanism. Has anyone actually done that? Like counted how many seconds it is between the womps being in the right position? Two hours away from the team rally trailer. It's exciting. Oh yeah, that probably would have helped. Oh my decision to do Samurai or not, huh? Maybe. Maybe not. And the thing is, I'm not even gonna choose Sam like Team Mario. <laughs> Why not? Because all the Bowser stuff is on uh, Team Luigi. Can you get in first? Okay, you had a red shell frenzy and a coin frenzy, right? Was there anything else? Is this non-stop combo? Yeah. Okay, so right there with two frenzies, you're at 152 actions. You got a stall. Where do you stall at the beginning? Because that kind of depends on like what place you're in, right? In your lines. Curtis says I got 200 action counts with Lucky 7. Easy. With a Lucky 7 driver. Yeah, I think you'll be able to get it. Like It's going to fall in place. It's just a matter of time. Here we go. Give us a coin box. Dang, coin box drivers, where are you? So silly. Who's in front of you? So when you hit the thwomp, was that your attempt to stall? No. Okay. I didn't know. I, I'm not critiquing. I just didn't know. I would have been under the thwomp, so. Good job avoiding those bananas. This is again. Oh, I got it. Robert says he usually stalls at the first big turn by the thwomps. Second turn, actually, I think. Hmm. Got this. Just gotta think positive thoughts. <laughs> That's all. That's all you gotta do. Is just think positive thoughts. Okay, coin boxer, unleash your coins. That was me. Or land on me. And then hit away my boomerang. Because mm -hmm. that's always fun. Tracy says you want to wait roughly 25 seconds after the race hits. Go. 25 seconds? What do you mean, two and a half seconds? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I would just stall a bit and you'll get it. Oh, they're talking about 25 seconds between the times it hits go and the time you hit the thwomp, I think is what they're saying. Not stalling for 25 seconds. I read it out of the context. Context. Can't get boomerangs in eighth place. Yeah, so I think we'll probably go for about 15 more minutes. Kamek wants to help you stall. 
<laughs> yeah. Thanks, Kimmy. Yeah. Appreciate it. Even if you want to give us a thumbs down, give us a thumbs up. You got this. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Guys, give me some good catchphrases to um, help out Frenzy Fan Boy. Mm. Sometimes I don't know how to cheer him on. You should have leveled up Chuck. You should have leveled up Chuck. <laughs> no, this one just, I mean, you knew going into it, this was going to take more time, but you have the higher action count potential. Wasn't that the theory? Mm -hmm. So it's all good. And these bots, okay, I know it's a good lobby because you got three coin boxers, but they're kind of all jerks. Mm -hmm. So maybe, um, Play it through and then... Play it through and get a new lobby. It's not doing you any good. What, Curtis, would you guys uh, get out of this one? These bots aren't that kind. They're all badged, right? Four of them are, I think. Look at all those coins with no boomerang. No boomerang with all those coins. It's a good song. We got all those coins without a boomerang. Mm -hmm. That just means you got to reset and try it all again. Boom, boom, boom. What I do is after I hit the box in fifth or sixth, I stall to avoid potentially hitting the bot with the coin box before they use the box. After they hit the box in fifth, I think he's talking about... The, are you talking about the box on the thwomp? Or you hit the box in fifth place? Yeah. Alba says, once I got triple coin box frenzy and came in fifth. That's the story of Frenzy Fanboy's life this week. It's been rough. It's an easy lobby to get coin boxers. No problem, even if you want to reset the lobby, Curtis says. I think last time, you finished this one last time with like 178, right? Isn't that what we decided? Is that what we're kind of dealing with? David point says... Being. Your point being that I'm not getting there again? Yes, mm -hmm. true. Oh, no. So there was one race on this one where like you quit and you had a little bit more to go and you were at like 158. Uh-huh. Let's see if we can get one of those and get out of it and then get a new lobby. I mean, okay. Super easy to do. Yeah. Let's go finish the course. Uh, David says, no, the first box. So after you hit the first box in fifth or sixth, you stall to avoid potentially hitting the bot with the coin box before they use the box. Let's try what David said if you're going to reset or you need to finish this one. Oh, here's a bunch of garbly gook. Sorry. Okay, no, you're totally good. Okay, so after so you hit the fifth the you hit the box in fifth or sixth, and then you stall to avoid potentially hitting the bot with the coin box before they use the box. Okay, so how does one stall? Like you just like run into the yeah. lava like that? Uh. Is that is that how you stall? Like David, how do you stall right there? Does someone know where the break button is? Is that is that what's going on? Like everyone in the game knows where the break button is except for Frenzy Fanboy? Maybe. And we're frozen. 
No, we're not. I was listening. Stream is lagging again, though. Um, it is lagging a bit. Okay, after this race, we're gonna have Frenzy Fanboy reassess for a second, and maybe our stream will pick back up. I don't know. I don't know why it's lagging. It says green on OBS. No, it doesn't. It says red. Oh, now it does. It said green like two seconds ago. Okay, it keeps going red, yellow, green. Why? Why are you doing me dirty? It might be because I have four missed calls. I wonder if that is messing it up. Hopefully it gets better. DKR says drift into the walls. That's how you uh, stall. So instead of drifting to the left, you'll drift to the right, I guess. And then the turn, Robert says, the turn after the dash panel jump, I usually turn into the wall and that is good enough to stall. All right, we're having some streaming issues again because life is fun. See, right, is it still lagging, guys? It just shows that it's lagging on my end, but I have like an all green thing, so I don't know. I'm gonna type this. Okay, we're gonna see what's up. I'm gonna put my phone into do not disturb. Maybe that will help. Okay, hopefully that fixed it. I literally was having, like, I have no boundaries with my clients, so they message me at all hours of the night. And I just had four missed calls from a couple different people. Not a good thing. I was saying that sarcastically. It's something I need to work on, obviously. Okay, let's see here. How many items do you think there will be in the spotlight shop? I don't know. I'm hoping, like, 9 to 12, kind of like the token shop. What do you guys think? Frenzy fanboys focused. Nine to 12 sounds good. <laughs> Sorry that this is so rough. Hey, that's fun. I'm just trying to get the badges down. Yeah. Just Getting through the race. Yeah, that's a really good question about the spotlight shop. I don't know. Like, I feel like I would... I kind of hope... Okay, they put one sentence in their huge announcement that brought me a lot of joy. And it was basically that there are so many more changes and things in the work that we have no idea about. So because of that, I'm hoping that just like some new mechanic... Like, I feel like all the time new mechanics are dropped into the game that no one's expecting. So we can all like guess our hearts out and they're going to drop something where we're going to be like, oh, okay, I didn't even see that before. Right? And you can tell that they've been planning this for a long time. Like I bet when they dropped the token shop pipe, it was to get us all acclimated for it because they knew they were going to be taking away the ruby pipes. So I don't know. I just hope that... The brilliant minds at Mario Kart have come up with some really cool things, some really cool ideas, and it's going to make the game fun and engaging and keep us all excited. I wish I had more of a... This is, okay, between all of us and me, this is what I struggle at in life, <laughs> is when it comes to, like, speculation and stuff, when I really have, like, no context to anything. I have a heart, like, I like speculating and guessing and doing all that type of stuff. But when it comes to, like, actually saying, like, this is what I think is going to happen, I just have no idea. But I think there's going to be a lot of really cool things that happen. How Are you guys looking forward to battle mode? I'm really looking forward to it. Are you really? I am. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to hate it like I do Kart Pro. <laughs> I was going to say. I absolutely love it. I don't know. It's a little, uh... 
I, okay, growing up though, I loved battle mode. Like, granted, it was on the console, but I love battle mode. So I'm hoping it's fun. I have a hope being it's enjoyable. You're not looking forward to it, apparently. It's not moving the needle for me. I think it's going to be a multiplayer shoved down your throat. You're going to have to do it in order to be able to get like rewards and stuff and junk. But like the amount of precision and accuracy that's required in battle mode just can't. Oh, my gosh. Just isn't really something that like you can do on mobile. That's why I'm wondering, like, based off of how we understand battle mode, I feel like they're going to have some mechanics that make it more enjoyable than, like, what we're yeah. thinking. As far as me looking forward to it, yeah, it's not moving the needle for me. It's fair. That's fair. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a blast. I have no control anyways, and I'm just pure chaos. So I think it's going to be great when I, like, knock people down. And pop balloons because I have no idea what I'm doing. And I'm like, yeah, I did that on him. That was intentional. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what it's even gonna look like. I have no idea what battle mode on the phone is even gonna look like, or how close it's gonna be to the console games. Mm -hmm. But you're totally right. Like, it's so hard to have control. I don't know. I feel like there are people who are just going to dominate at it and it's going to be their thing. Mm -hmm. I, David said, I just realized this update will come one month from today. Yeah. yeah. What's up, Rashid? Welcome to the stream. Rashid. Frenzy fanboy is stressed out right now a little bit, but he's doing great. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. My boomboxing skills are being... On showcase for the entire world. <laughs> it boops and really like, I don't know, you're fine. You'll get it. I came out of the gates hot. I had a boom box. It was the best, best run I've gotten so far. And that was about an hour ago. There's been plenty of advice and support. But it doesn't help me figure out how to be able to do it. <laughs> I think you're doing great. How many actions is this one? Um, I probably broke combo. Okay. So we'll have to see. Okay. It's probably around like 130, 140. We are coming up on uh, two hours, though, I think. Where are we? we at? Yep. An hour and 58 minutes. So let's recap. So let's recap. Let's recap, because you're in a funk, and we got to get you out of the funk. Oh, no. I'm not in a funk. <laughs> so let's recap. Okay. Tell me recap. <laughs> we have to have your phone to recap. Oh. Got to have your phone to recap. Okay. Okay. Um. So where are we at? So how far are we away from 2 million? What so we're at... About 33,000 away. Okay, so this one's just not falling in your favor right now, but it will. It'll hit. I'm going to leave the house, the hotel for two minutes and come back in here and be like, shh, two seconds, because that's how the game is, right? Mm -hmm. Shadow Legend says, you got this, Frenzy Bam, boy. Hey, Shadow Legend, thanks, man. Heroes, are you asking if we ate, did you guys eat, ate? We went to Cheesecake Factory for dinner because my mother-in-law gave me a gift card there and I was like, sweet, free food. If Mario Kart Tour ended, what game would you guys go for? Oh, man. There's these new Ninja Turtle games that came out to the Switch. I feel like I've neglected the Switch big time. <laughs> we got all these games. Yeah. I've got Zelda Breath of the Wild that I've never even loaded. Which is just a sin in and of itself, I know. But this game has just, like, taken over. Well, taken over every minute of game-playing, like, desire that I've ever had. Yeah. So, there's these new Ninja Turtle games that are coming out that I, I'm really looking forward to. Like, huge nostalgia kick right there. 
Curtis says boombox takes a long time. Not surprising at all. Keep it up. You'll get it. Hey, Firestorm. He changed his name to Frenzy Fanboy for 10 too. That's cute. Thanks, Firestorm. He's not watching anymore, but... Yeah, he will know. Yeah, it's true. Oh, man. Okay, so recap. So you're friend sending friends coins, but let's recap and look at your actual account. Okay. I want to see where we're at. That way I can be like... I don't know. Okay. So we're at 1.966, and I've got some courses. Come on. That I can work on to try and get some more points, because right now I'm at 92% the DKR sheet, and so if I get like 93 maybe, I should be able to hit 2 million. And you have a bunch of trucks you haven't even touched really, right? Nope, I've touched them all. Go to that way. I want to see the other part. What about like all these ones without picture pictures? Yeah, so if you've been with us for the past two hours, those are the two courses that I've played, <laughs> and I just haven't filled out the sheet. But I have filled out with the potential of getting the runs that I think I can get, this is these are the scores that I'm kind of shooting for. Okay. And even still with that, I'm at 1.98. Cool. But it's the boombox ones that are holding you back. So you yeah. just got to put in the time. You have mm -hmm. some time to put into it. Yeah. You got two days. Yeah. Two yeah. days. I'll drive all the places so you can do it. Yeah. What about the ones down below where it's like a green shell and a coin frenzy? Is that because they don't have that many boxes on the... So... I got three normal boxes. Piranha Plant Slide, which is just my favorite. It's a rough course. Yeah, 79. But see, I got 62,000 on that. Yeah. Which is an A+. Plus. Well, it A. So, I mean, see, I don't get, like, why? Why is it an A if it's 79%? I mean, I got 62,000 on it. There's no way I'm going back to it to try and, I mean... I was three actions shy of 200. Right. You finish so, your returns up to yeah. 200. Gotcha. So that course is done. So yeah, I just have to go back and figure out, like, a lot of these that are, like, 165. But they're, like, Piranha Plant Slide R, which is the boombox one. Oh, yeah, so that was a triple coin frenzy. Triple coin frenzy with a completely maxed out character mm -hmm. and still only 165 actions for me. And what was the max on that one? Oh, I'm sure it's like 240. Okay. Soprano plant slide. Proof plant slide's hard to pick up coins on when you're in coin box mode a lot of the time. R. I mean, granted, I'm not that good at this game, so. 210. It's not horrible. I'm not that far behind. I mean, so I'm, what? Yeah. 45 actions short? Mm-hmm. So. All I want to know, is it possible to get boomerang frenzy and coin blocks frenzy at the same time? So, like, another player has coin fren coin box fren frenzy while you have a boomerang? So, if you're playing a character that can get frenzies, then no of the none of the other um, computer bots are capable of getting frenzies. So, no, it's not possible. So, no. You can get a frenzy, but nobody else can get a frenzy when you're playing. But if you're playing in multiplayer... Then yes. And there's both, on the top shelf, a coin box... I don't know if I don't know if two players can get frenzies at the same time though on on multiplayer or not. That's an interesting question for the data miners or. Cranebow says, "Good luck wanting been wanting to see some of your grind." Scott says, "What's your go-to cheesecake flavor choice?" I got salted caramel cheesecake. It was delicious. I'm a caramel person. Yep. Are you going to yeah. grind anymore? Are you tired and ready for bed? I have like... I mean, so I think we've gone two hours, and that was what we were kind of saying that we were going to do. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm leaving. I have like two hours left of work I have to do tonight before we go to so bed. So you have a little bit more work yet. And my laptop is being used for the stream. Mm -hmm. Um, Only one frenzy at a time. So yeah. Yeah. This was fun, though. Thanks for hanging out. We have... I don't even know if that's right, but it says we have 32 people watching. Or 42. What did I say? 32. We have 42 people watching, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. If you guys are still watching it, give the video a thumbs up so more people can see it. We are going to get better at live streaming. We are homeless. We're trying to stream out of hotels and cabins and all the places, but our house should be finished being built in like exactly a month from today. Today's the third, right? 
The fourth, I think. The fourth. Wait, my birthday was two days ago? Because today's Sunday. Yes, yeah, it was. Our house should be built in a month, so we will have our actual streaming office back. Yeah. So it'll be great. Cool. Hey, I hope you get it. Yeah. I feel like you're feeling a little down. Yeah, you know, we'll just have to see. We got two more days left, and uh, we'll just have to see what we can get. But here's the thing. Okay, so on our drive from Washington to McCall, Idaho... Basically, your luck was kind of like the stream tonight, where, like, nothing was really falling. It was a rough couple hours. And then we got to McCall, Idaho, and you had, like, two or three courses that just dropped pretty quick. Like, you got what you needed. Okay. Within reason. Okay. So I feel like sometimes it's just a crap couple hours. And then you'll get back on, and you'll sign in, and you'll play it once and be like, oh, my gosh, I did it. Oh, my gosh, I did it. Just got envisioned the, oh my gosh, I did it moments. Yep. Hey, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful to uh, the community for helping me in this endeavor of mine. Yeah. All the support. There have been a lot of people on Discord that are like, hey, how's the progress coming? And yeah. All that stuff. So, yeah, that helps me, uh, you know, kind of push along a little bit more. So, thanks for the support, everyone. I think you're doing good. Yeah. I think you're really hard on yourself, but I think you're doing great. What are you thankful for? I am thankful for so many things. It's great. Um, I am thankful that for my birthday, even though we're like kind of like nomadic and like random places, we know people all across the country pretty much. So it was kind of fun to like celebrate my birthday with different people I normally don't get to see on a regular day, but like day to day basis because we're in this random part of the country that we're not always here. So. I'm I'm grateful I have a lot of friends. It's fun. Yeah. I like people. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks everyone for joining us, especially since it's so late. We appreciate it. Yeah. And until the next episode, may the frenzies be forever in your favor. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you later.